Today, I'll show you how to file your crypto taxes with TurboTax in the US. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, we're specifically talking about the online version of TurboTax for the US. This is a highly requested video, so we're happy to have this out for you guys finally. Um, we'll have a desktop video in the near future. Let us know in the comments below if you're interested in, in that. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Okay, in terms of plans, you'll need the Premier plan or higher to do your um, crypto taxes because these are the only versions that actually include sections about crypto. So make sure to get that plan um, when you're doing this process. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a few different things. So we're gonna be addressing uh, crypto capital gains and losses any crypto income, and then any related expenses. Okay, so first things first, before we can file stuff on uh, TurboTax, we actually need that documentation to be outputted from Coinly. And I've made countless videos and guides, and I'll leave one that's a really good one, um, the complete guide to Coinly kind of um, importing various wallets and getting your necessary tax documentation. But long story short, you're going to import all your crypto wallets in here. So your Coinbase, your Binance, whatever you're using, you're going to import all those transactions into Coinly one at a time. And then you can also review those transactions here. If you've done any staking futures, um, anything like that, you can also um, tag them accordingly. And then once you have all your wallets in Coinly, you're going to jump into the tax reports area. And this is this is a really great area for, you know, summary information of your crypto activity. So you'll see your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses, the transactions you've made. And then at the very bottom, you're going to select a tax report that is appropriate for your needs. And since today we're talking about TurboTax, the report you're going to need is going to be called the TurboTax Online. So you're going to make sure to select a plan that's appropriate for you, and then you're going to download this report. And the second report that you're going to download is going to be called the Complete Tax Report, and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Here it is on my screen. It's going to have the proceeds from sales, acquisition costs, profits, losses, net gains. All that stuff is going to be directly copy and pasted into TurboTax. And you should be very happy, if not relieved, to know that your Coinly report will be compliant with the tax rules of the IRS. And very importantly, that your capital gains will be calculated using the first in, first out cost basis methods, and that all your crypto is converted um, into US. So one more time, this section here is where you can double check what I just said. So as you can see, the settings are for United States, base currency is USD, and uh, cost to basis method is um, FIFO. And if you're having any issues and not seeing these things that I'm seeing, you can go into your settings and change that information here um, as I show you on the screen right now. And lastly, before I jump into TurboTax, if anyone is wondering how crypto is actually taxed in the US, we have an extensive, really great guide here that a lot of people put a lot of time into that will cover almost every single topic you need to know about crypto taxes in the US and it's constantly being updated. As you can see, we've been updating it quite a few times over the past couple years. So if you wanna pause the video and give this thing a read, I strongly recommend it. It's a great resource. If you're an advanced trader, we also share a lot of information around tax strategies that can potentially help you reduce your tax bill. So like I said, give this definitely a look. Okay, so we finally logged into TurboTax and as you can see, my information, I've done this process quite a few times over the past few weeks. Um, so it's gonna probably look a little bit different than your screen, but I'll try my best to take you through it as if I were doing it the first time. Um, the first things first, personal information, you don't really need my assistance for that. Fill it out according to your information and then we can jump into the rest of this report. So once you filled in that personal information, also making sure to select the appropriate plan, which is the premier one or higher, we're gonna start reviewing some of our information. So we're gonna start with the capital gains part and we can do this by heading over into the federal um, tab on the left side of your screen and then we can start filling our information out accordingly. Okay, from here, you're not gonna have this part that I currently have because I've, like I said earlier, filled out this information before, but that's okay. Um, let's scroll down to find the first section that we're looking for. So under investments and savings, we're gonna click the show more option. And then from here, it specifically says stocks, cryptocurrency, mutual funds, bonds. If you're not seeing this cryptocurrency option, it's possible that you're in the wrong version of TurboTax. So make sure to be on the premier one or higher. So for you, it's gonna say start. For me, it's saying revisit. So I'm gonna click that. So the next screen, we're gonna click on add investments and then we're gonna click continue. And then here we're gonna enter a different way. And then once again, we're gonna go into cryptocurrency and we're gonna click continue. 
And then here it's gonna ask us how we would like to kind of import our information since we already have that fantastic Coinly report. We're gonna click use a CSV file and click continue. And then here we're going to add a um, crypto service. So we're gonna put other and we're gonna type in Coinly and once again, click continue. So here it's finally asking us to upload that crypto CSV file. And I've already shown you guys what that is. It's, it's this file. So um, let's find it and import it into TurboTax. So make sure to drag and drop it into TurboTax. And then here it's going to give us a great summary of all the things we have. So our total gain or loss is $7,430. Number of sales is 26. Proceeds is 24,247. And our cost basis is 16,817. And if we'd like to edit or look at it in, in more detail, we can do that by clicking the edit option. And here we're gonna get a description of our various transactions, you know, our date of disposal. So it's basically this Excel file, but now it's formatted in a way that is appropriate for TurboTax. And remember, you don't actually have to do anything here. I'm just showing you um, if you'd like to have a second look and see exactly kind of what's underneath the hood. Um, and then you're gonna click continue. Next, we're going to click continue or sorry, confirm. And here it's gonna give us the final summary. You have $7,429 in capital gains and then um, we're okay with that. We're gonna click next. And that was the first part of this video done. We're gonna move on into income. So um, this year I had a little bit of income from mining, airdrops, staking, and a few other DeFi contracts that I've earned interest on. So we're gonna scroll down into less common income. And from there, we're gonna go down further and we're gonna type or we're gonna click the start option for the miscellaneous income um, 1099A or 1099C. So we're gonna click revisit for me. From here, we're gonna click on other reportable income at the very bottom of the screen. Then it's going to ask us any other taxable income. We're gonna click yes. And then you're going to give it a description and a amount. So let me show you exactly where that is on the report. So I'm gonna put a little side by side here um, feature so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at as well. So make it a little bit smaller here. So we're gonna need a description and we're gonna need amount. So on the third page, we have a income summary. So I have some staking and I have some other income. So you can do this one of two ways. You can type in the total, um, you know, type in $100 and $102 um, and just type in your crypto income, or you can make two separate um, investments, call it, you know, $57 and 14 cents for staking and then $44 and 82 cents for other income. I'm going to take the, uh, let's say less tedious route and I'm gonna type in $101.96, and then I'm going to type in crypto income. Once you have that, you're gonna click on continue, and now it will show up um, here in this section. Obviously, like I said, if you wanna separate it and have two different things that says one, one has staking, one says other income, you can also do that, but I've chosen kind of the less tedious route, and there you have it. And if you don't want to download the complete tax report, this is another option you could potentially do. So when you go to the tax reports area, that income value is actually given right here, um, $101.96. So you can copy and paste it from there directly. Or if you'd like to, like I said, separate them um, you know, to staking and other income, then you would download the complete tax report to get those values. One total is fine. The IRS is currently indifferent on how this is presented. All that matters is that the total is accurate. Okay, so once you've entered those two different things, at the very top of the page, you're gonna get exactly what you entered. So um, your income, miscellaneous income, was $102 to just round it up. And then your capital gains was 4,000, or sorry, $7,430. And now we can move on to the next uh, section, which is deductions and credits. Okay, so we've moved on to our deductions and credits, and there's two different sections here that I like to point out. Obviously, do the ones that are applicable to you. If you go down into the other deductions and credits area and click the show more option, you have the other deductible expenses. So things like trading fees can be put here. Um, any related crypto expenses, which aren't part of your capital gains, can be uh, claimed here, so cl click that. Um, did you pay any generation skipping taxes in 2021? Obviously dependent on your situation. For me, it's going to be a no. And then here, do you have any 
of these less common expenses, this is where you would put yes and enter in that information. Okay, secondly, we're gonna go back into the same area under deductions and credits. And here we have the tax um, preparation fees where you can claim your Coinly subscription cost. So go into here and um, prep tax preparation fees won't affect your returns. You can still enter in here under my expenses. So whatever you paid for the Coinly plan and you're going to click continue and there you have it. Now, one small caveat here is if you are a salaried worker, then you might not be able to deduct um, tax preparation fees for your return. It's a new IRS rule, so it's more likely that you can claim it here if you're self-employed. Okay, so this will be one of the last screens that you should see. So here we're given an option to review um, each trade, which you can imagine would be a very um, long time consuming process if we've had, let's say, a busy year. So this is a nice to have option, but it's absolutely not necessary. The IRS only cares about the end net result and not the constituent transactions. Lastly here, TurboTax um, asks whether I received a 1099B form for my disposal and asks how uh, my asset was acquired. For this part, you do not have to say whether um, you received a 1099B. It's unnecessary and it's merely an administrative query from the IRS's own internal uh, reconciliation purposes. The IRS should not penalize anyone for incorrectly stating whether they have or have not received a 1099B um, form. As long as you have not missed out any reportable income, this is the key focus. There you have it. That is everything you need to know to file your um, turbo taxes in the US. Obviously go back into TurboTax and complete the rest of your taxes according to other things that you're doing, your other incomes, your other investments, stuff like that. But that covers the crypto section of, of this um, of TurboTax in this video. So if you have any questions, we have some fantastic resources as always, which I will leave down below. Obviously the first one was the US um, guide, the complete guide for crypto tax in the US. But we also have a Coinly Help Center where we have countless articles on crypto related uh, crypto tax related um, things. We have a feedback section where you can leave comments, concerns that you might be having um, with our with our program, with other things. We also have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a direct message. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.